Hey, what's happening, my thug? <laughs> I'm surprised you guys fell for this one. For this week's Spotlight Review, I left you guys a hidden message here. You should have figured it out. I mean, obviously you didn't, because that's why I'm reviewing these for your viewing pleasure today, whether you like it or not. Anyway, the question was, are you all dot 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 question mark and then I left you two votes Spartan or elite Spartan or elite you know I could have basically said if it was going to be a halo review from Jazzwares it probably would have been are you dot 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 question mark without the all put in there I don't know what to say Maybe you guys do want to see some more wrestling figure reviews on this channel. Or maybe you just lost sight of it. You just didn't realize it. I got you. I one-upped you. Are you all elite? All elite wrestling. It says it right there. It's in gold foil right there. All elite. Ugh. Bad choice on the package to pick for that one because that one's all messed up. Anyway, this one. There you go. Yeah, look. All elite. All elite. All elite. Are you all elite? You, you thought I was talking about the character, the aliens in the Halo games? I don't think the Spartan Collection consists of any aliens yet. Maybe it will in time, but right now it's all about the Spartans. But anyway, it could have gone either way. I, you know, I was basically just waiting to see what the results would be, and surprisingly... Almost everybody voted for All Elite Wrestling. Okay, okay, here you go. Here's Series 5. All in one go. Yeah, this entire video review is going to be me showcasing every single figure out of Series 5. Minus the chase figures, of course, which I am not willing to pay for or go hunt down. It would take an eternity. And I don't have an eternity here. I may only have 20 more years of existence. For all I know. I don't know. I'm guessing. Anyway, we're going to take a look at, if you can guess by the side images here. If not, I can kind of turn it this way so you can kind of see what's going on here. We got Scorpio Sky. We got Frankie Kazarian. We got Hangman Adam Page. Luchasaurus. Jungle Boy. And John Boxley. So, yeah, pretty simple to look at, but we're going to look at the packagings one by one here, unless it has a reason that I should put in two in, like these two here, which are basically the formation of SCU as Tag Team Champions. Yes, our very first AEW Tag Team Champions, which they won these titles on the debut episode of AEW Dynamite. Let me know if I'm wrong, but anyway... Yeah, Frankie Kazarian and Scorpio Sky, no longer a tag team. As a matter of fact, at the time of this recording, SCU is no longer a tag team. With Frankie Kazarian and Christopher Daniels losing to the Young Bucks, which means the tag team had to uh, disband. Womp, 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 but that's okay. Scorpio Sky's got something going on right now at the moment with Ethan Page, and they're teaming up against Sting and Darby Allin for the time being as that feud from the time of this recording, of course. It may all be different by the time you're viewing this in the future. Frankie Kazarian's just jumping in and attacking people at the moment. That's all I know. Anyway, that's about it for these two. I mean, you can see the packaging from the front looks pretty good. It's your standard, non-collector-friendly AEW you on rival collection packaging on to the back of the packaging here we've got an image of both of them holding the tag team titles when they won it on dynamite in charleston yay that's about it for the packaging oh by the way just in case anybody wants to know i did put them in the order that is mentioned for the hidden message at the bottom here it's an a it's an r it's an a it's a d-i-m-p and it makes no sense Possibly because I don't have the chase figure, so I can't tell you what this is actually saying here. Aerodip? Aerodip? Is that what it's saying? It sounds like something I'd like to put on my chips. Hangman Adam Page. Here's a look at uh, his picture. Well, no, the figure. Now the picture. There's the picture. It's Adam Page. What more do you want? Looks good. I like the vest. 
I like the pants. I like that he has pants this time around. I believe the Chase figure actually has shorts, which I never did like Adam Page in shorts. But anyway, look at that. He's got a picture. And I think he comes with a shot glass. Oh, there it is. Yeah, pretty interesting for a kid's toy line. Yeah. But anyway, on the back, there's Adam Page. Basically looks like his figure, which is representative of his appearance here from AEW All Out. Hey man, Adam Page. Nice signature. Okay, so of course these two have to come together because you can't have the boy without the dinosaur and you can't have the dinosaur without the boy. So here's Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus side by side showcasing the packaging from the front. Looks good. Of course, not collector friendly, which means once you open it, it's no good. To the back of the packaging, here's a look at the two characters. Hmm, get a good look at his ass. Yeah, anyway. There's Luchasaurus packaging, and there's his um, signature, which, you know, I, I thought my writing was pretty bad. If this is how he really writes, uh, you know, I, I, I shouldn't go there. I should not go there. This is leaps and bounds better than what I can actually do with my chicken scratch. But uh, at least I can definitely make it out. Some of these signatures, you know, it's like a name that is spelled. Let's just go for an example like him and Adam Page. Uh, yeah, I can kind of make out Adam Page. It does look like it's pretty clear. Bad example. But there are certain, certain characters that have this very nice signature, very long names, and it's like two letters done. That's pretty much it. But, uh, I can definitely make out Luchasaurus. There's Jungle Boy's signature. Just in case you wanted to see that. Finally, we have... The AEW, or was the AEW <laughs> World Heavyweight Champion, John Moxley, his second figure, where he's snarling at you. He should be the dinosaur. There's a picture of him, John Moxley, showcasing the AEW World Title that he won against Chris Jericho at Revolution, if I recall right. There he is, holding it. And I guess I'm wrong because this actually says all out. But then again, that's not a guarantee. It's not a guarantee. It's possible that this is just a figure based off of when he was the world champ, when he was defending the world title, remained the world champ, and he's just holding it up in the air. Makes sense, right? Anyway, that's Moxley's signature. Can you make it out? It's Mox. M-O-X. I'll say that again. M-O-X. You got to get really serious with John Moxley. As you can tell, these are all printed. The gold foil is definitely out of place on this one. All the others seem pretty clean for collector, well, non-collector friendly packages. Again, once you open them, they're no good. You can also see how lopsided it is to one side here with the Unrivaled Collection. The only thing that looks pretty straight on here is Frankie Kazarian's name. Unfortunately, it had to be his packaging because, I mean, this looks okay, but you can kind of see it's a little sagging here with the E, but I'm just showing it off because it's not perfect. It's not a perfect line, okay? I don't have the best of packagings here. I don't keep these packagings because they're not collector friendly. How many times do I have to keep saying that until I can drive it into your head finally and it's burned in there once and for all? Until that time, I will keep reminding you until Jeremy decides to change up the packaging for something a little more collector friendly. Let's move on now because that's what you guys want. Enough of this. You know, it took me five minutes, five long minutes to realize that the belt was on Scorpio Sky's waist this entire time. I took the figure out of the packaging and I was like, wait, where's the tag team belt he's supposed to come with? So I was going through all the boxes that shredded over there to that side, which you can't see, just to realize, hey, dummy, it's right there. It's always been there. Just look at the figure next time. And you know, the sad thing is, I did look at the figures because I was showcasing them, you, at the very beginning of this video. Here's a look at the tag team tile to kick things off here. You want to see what these look like as a representation of toy form from the actual design from the show itself, if any of that makes sense. Good, but I feel like I got tongue twisted there somehow. Can't pick up a freaking thing because it doesn't want to focus in on it, probably because it's so shiny, so reflective. That vac metal chrome is also good. It's so oozing with glossiness, just beautiful. We've got world 
tag team, which is kind of hard to see there because they missed something. They missed a key little detail, which can probably show off right there. You can kind of see where it says tag team on the tag team belt. There's black behind it. They didn't have the budget to fill it in right there. And then you got that little plate right there that would actually be where you would have your wrestler's name on the title itself. So, World Tag Team Hump Champion. And, of course, we got the blue behind for the ocean of the water for the planet Earth in the back with AW Wrestling. AW, 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 AW. And, of course, if you can't see the E, it's because it's being blocked by what looks like two bodies going at it. Something WCW consisted of as well on their titles. Anyway, here's a look at the back. Just in case you wanted to see that. I don't know why, but it is there. Okay. So, there you go. That's the uh, tag team title. Hey. All right. So, now let's take a look at uh, Frankie Kazarian and Scorpio Sky. Starting off with Frankie Kazarian. We've got his signature jacket he would wear to the ring at that time. SCU right there. To the back. This is the worst reviewer I've ever watched. No, I'm just kidding. This is the worst town I've ever been in. Which is something Scorpio Sky actually says. Not really Frankie Kazarian from what I was watching. But anyway, oh, look at that. They actually painted the inside of this hoodie, which does not actually flip over. And you can put it on top of the figure's head. No, but it is a nice attention to detail with that nice shiny gold. Very nice. Speaking of which, I mean, there's some nice shiny gold all over this jacket. Really good. It's also made of that hard rubber material, which means you can't really get any articulation out of it. The only way to do that is to ba -ba -ba -da -da, take it off. So unbutton that sucker. Yeah. Oh, boy, this is about to turn into a porno, isn't it? it I can't, can't really get the jacket off of him. It's that stiff. Oh, my God. It, I, no, I don't even know how they were actually able to get this around the figure to begin with. Look at that. Look, yeah. Kazarian. Yeah. I I don't know what that thing is, but it's kind of creeping me out. It looks like a, a worm with a mask. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. ACU. Good. All right. So as I go about trying to get this jacket off, which is really going to make this video go longer than I was planning, how are you supposed to do that? Oh my god, you see how hard that was. But to their credit, they didn't put any plastic around the arms this time, which only means that, yeah, the reason why it really wasn't moving that much was because it's a very tight fit. The only plastic around the figure was around the waistline, which I'm glad I had to uh, pop his first top half of his body apart just to get that off of there. But anyway, there we go. Here's Frankie Kazarian. Here's a look at his face. Looks good. Even though this isn't what he looks like anymore, he's got his hair back nowadays. But anyway, I digress. Looks like a good figure to me. And we're not going to go through the articulation. That would just be a waste of time since every figure consists of the same amount. So let's move on to Scorpio Sky. Reach for the sky, bro. So anyway, yeah, that's Scorpio Sky in a nutshell. Definitely got that sarcastic smirk looking great. Like his jacket, of course. It's real good. SCU on the back, even though I still think he should have been the one that would be wearing this is the worst town I've ever been in. But then again, this is pretty accurate, so I can't complain about that. Anyway, let's take the belt off now and put that aside. Get this rubber band off of his waist once and for all. Good riddance. And at least with this figure, I don't have to really worry about removing the jacket because... It doesn't hinder the articulation as there are no sleeves. You can see you get all the range you want. Especially with the elbow pads that are made of that kind of flexible rubber material, but not really. But you can still get a bit of a pose out of that. Actually, you can get a lot of a pose out of that. I mean, look at how far that actually bent. That's well past more than 90 degrees. That's incredible. Incredible. Oh, crap. We got rubber. Or not rubber, but we got that plastic piece around the waist. Get rid of that. I'm going to pop this back into place now. There we go. And now this is actually a lot tighter. I don't know why. Because the plastic's on the outside. It's not on the inside where the ball joint is. So I don't understand how this actually got tighter. But oh well, I appreciate it. Good look at his pants. Got the S for Scorpio. Sky. Oh, there you go. 
Yeah, Scorpio and Sky. And that's about it because those are just some plain white boots. And uh, we're going to go ahead and proceed onward now to the next set of figures. All right, here we got the boy and his dinosaur going by the order that they are on this this video right now. It would be a dinosaur and his boy. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You got one. You got to have the other. You can't have just one. It doesn't work. Anyway, yeah, Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus. And straight out of the packaging, these figures look great. But inside the packaging, they were a pain in the butt to get out. Here's a dramatic recreation of my struggle to get Luchasaurus out of the box. It does not want to come out. Anyway, let's take a look at the figure. Here's Luchasaurus with his tongue sticking out. His green, toxic, slimy-looking tongue. Does dinosaurs have green tongues? I don't understand the logic of that. But anyway, he does have his nice kind of triceratops-looking mask here. It's not really confirmed what kind of dinosaur he's supposed to be. He's just a, a evolved dinosaur that wrestled millions of years ago and became humanized kind of sort of is that even a word but anyway it's got some nice details all around with the black the gold and of course the green all that lovely green on this figure from his arm gauntlets to uh to uh his mask to its tongue to that one piece of his hair there which is great and of course the pants and on the back look good. Look at all the gold as well for his boots with those tassels on the back, of course. Nicely sculpted, some very nice work. Hey, you got some competition here, Todd. But anyway, oh, ooh. Buddy, you got some problems. I, I think those need to be amputated right away. You let the diabetes get the better of you. But uh, anyway, joking aside, I mean, I'm a diabetic myself. I really shouldn't say. But anyway, I think just, uh, I've noticed discoloration on my feet for a while now. But that's just a common problem with type 1 diabetics. So long as I'm still feeling nerve pain down there, my doctor says I'm a-okay. It's just something to be cautious about. Anyway... That was Luchasaurus. Here's Jungle Boy, which is uh, in real life Jack Perry, if I'm not mistaken. You know, the late and great Luke Sub-Zero Perry. You know, the singer. Hey. Okay. Anyway, he's got the face of his father. I mean, that was pretty much carried down. Looks good. Can't complain. I mean, when the figures look like the actual characters they're represented of... I mean, it's all around just, it's it's nice, very nice. Some companies can do it good, other companies like Hasbro, it's a bit of a hit or a miss. But it seems like uh, Wicked Cool Toys, aka Jazzwares, knows what they're doing and they do it pretty good. Not really much to talk about when it comes to the said figures here, but I will say that this is the most slimmest figure out of this lineup so far. And I'm talking about the entire series and the joints hold up on this guy very well. Compared to all the bigger figures with the much muscular mass muscles and, of course, the tight thighs. And they just feel loose, just like sloppy all over the place. Like somebody put some shock oil in behind my back and didn't tell me. But this, this, is, um, this is tight. This is good. Good, good work. Good, good work. Good work. Still the same amount of articulation. No reason to go through that just yet. Anyway, let's go through the accessories these figures come with. No tag team titles. Maybe one day they might get the tag team titles. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, no real jackets or anything like that. They didn't come with that. But they do have interchangeable hands. So we got some open hands to hold some weapons. If they came with said weapons, like a steel chair wasn't an option. Ugh. And then, of course, here's uh, Luchasaurus' open hands, which um, I'm probably going to switch them out because I just like when figures have hands where they can hold some possible weapons if they came with them rather than these uh, posable looking kind of signature-esque hands to give like some kind of... Uh, some kind of expression rather than just gripping something that they're they're not gripping at the moment. I, I can understand why this is, but I still prefer my figures just to have those in case I want to put weapons in their hands. That's just me. Moving on. 
Here's Hangman Adam Page, our second Hangman Adam Page figure. As far as I know, there hasn't been any uh, leaked echoes or exclusives. So, yeah, pretty cool. He's got his face mask. Let's take it off. Let's finally see that good-looking face sculpt underneath because from what I've been told, this one takes the cake. And comparing this face to the original, it is a night and day comparison. Now, I'm not taking anything away from this original. God, my camera's really trying to focus on both faces at the same time. It's an endless battle, but endless like this review. Anyway, as I was trying to say, I'm not taking anything away from the original sculpt. It is what it is. This was a Series 2 Hangman Adam Page. You can tell because of the color skin color thing that was corrected after series one blah 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 anyway yeah it's okay for what it is it's okay but I, yeah i do like this new sculpt a lot better i mean that that's adam page that's how i know him looks good looks good oh it cut off the uh, facial recognition it's gone and now it's back now it's gone now it's back now it's gone now it's back you can't see any of that or what's going on, but I've got this like square that comes up around the face every time it comes up. There it is. Yep. So anyway, now that that's done, we can uh, let me pop this back on the neck. Oh uh, yeah, that's something that needs to be addressed still. <sighs> yeah, that's a lot better. That's definitely Adam Page. That's the way I've seen him on TV, and that's the way I wanted him in figure form. Let's give him back his picture. He really can't hold that too well. You can see he's holding it in an awkward position. Even when I've got the wrist folded in, it still doesn't look right. And there it goes again. Oh, shit! Saved it! Oh, that was a close one. Oh, man. Oh, you should have seen the look on my face the moment it was heading for that vent. Oh, uh, why are the vents on the floor in this place? Anyway, uh, yeah, he can't hold the pitcher. He can't hold it. And no, he doesn't come with alternate hands, so it doesn't really make much of a difference. Unless his right hand is capable of holding it better, I strongly doubt that. Well, it does grip. Uh, the far back it goes, of course, because it gets thicker up there around the hands. So, it's not right, but it, it will do. It will do. He also comes with a very small shot glass, which he will never hold, and I'll never try anyway. And besides that, he does have his, uh, his mask, which does have some nice details on it. We'll go to the figure in just a moment. I just want to show off his accessories real quickly. You know, I just realized Sean Moxley is down for the count. You should have pinned him, Paige! You should have pinned him. You could have been the AEW World Champion in my collection. He can't even hold the belt right. Just, just, just stay, stay. Anyway, yes, he does actually come with an interchangeable hand. He comes with the signature pointing hand, like the original one comes with. Ooh, I'm noticing a difference in the skin color. I don't know how well this is actually picking up on camera, but yeah, this is actually a lighter color compared to the new one. Well, at least you can't get them mixed up. Wow, he must have been working on that tan from uh, Series 2. But anyway, that's about it for Heyman Adam Page's accessories. We're going to put that aside. Don't you go anywhere. And we're just going to take a look now at the figure real quickly. There's that face again. And, of course, the recognition is still kicking in there. Nice vest. It comes off very cleanly if you want. Whoa, his belt got way up there. It's actually supposed to stay around the waist, but it doesn't, especially once you take the plastic off from around this area. So I'm just going to push it down as far as it will actually go. It doesn't look inappropriate. There we go. Anyway, you can take his vest off. This ought to be an easier porno to work with here. Bang, chicka, bang, bang, chicka, bang, bang. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it tried to take his elbow pad off. No, 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 no. Get back on there. Get back on there. I like how these elbow pads really does not hinder the articulation. If this was Mattel's WWE, no offense, this would never get this much of a bend at all. Anyway, yeah, looks good. So this is the uh, wrist tape around his wrist. And, of course, he's got all these tassels on the back of his sculpted belt here, which is nicely painted. It's got the nice buckle there. Looks great. Underneath all this, we got Hangman. His signature logo looks 
amazing. Tassels going around the side of his pants. Nice details all around. Very great print job. Kind of loose in places, but maybe it will tighten up over time. And that's about it. Not much else to say. Stay in place. Stay in place. Stay in place. And we're just going to leave Hangman and Page right here as we finally take a look at John Moxley, our not AEW world champ at this time. Anyway, here he is snarling at you. Actually, it sounds like he's sleeping. But anyway, we got Mox on the back. M O X. Mox with nice camo pants. Looks like he's shot mustard all over the place. Got some bad stains on it and took it to cleaners and there was nothing they could do. They pretty much said, sorry, Mox, you waited too long. There's nothing that we can do with this. He's just going to have to deal with it or buy a new pair of pants. And that's why he decided to stop wearing camo pants these days. He's wearing that black with the Mox on the side and that's about it. And that's the ugly detail. I don't like it. I mean, even my brothers complain about his new ring attire. But anyway... I mean, that's it. I mean, that's Moxley in a nutshell. He's got a belt, but this is actually sculpted to his lower section, so it's not going to go anywhere and move up and down too much like Hey Man's. But really, it's all about the sculpt, and yeah, that's Moxley if he lost his shite, to put it politely, even though I did say you know what earlier. I'm still looking at the picture over there. But uh, yeah, I mean... It's Mox. What do you want? It's Dean Ambrose. No, it's not. It's not. Oh, yeah, he does actually have his um, signature side tattoos on both sides of his wrists there. Or should I say his forearms? Because the wrist is actually down here. Enough! Enough with the lecture. Let's just go ahead and uh, show off the AEW World Championship, which is a much golder color this time around. To show off the uh, Series 2 John Moxley, AW world title. It's a lighter gold. This is a darker gold. I mean, this is light gold. This is kind of like rose gold. This is gold gold. And it also looks like they really didn't paint in the diamonds here, but they did. It is actually silver. It's just a lighter silver. Just like the silver around AEW is lighter as well compared to the original. Still though, I'm very amazed that I am not one of those who got a uh, copy and paste of the plates, the side plates of the belts in the wrong position. I have two belts here, actually three AEW World Title Nows that actually have the proper plates on all sides of the belts, which is nice. And again, you can't get these two mixed up because this is the darker gold and this is that rose gold belt, which belongs to, in size comparisons, my boy Kenny Omega. Give it here. Yeah. Now he's the champ. The true champ. He will always be the champ. Until the day Jungle Boy takes that belt from him and wins. You know, beats Kenny. I'm just messing things up here, people. Just deal with me. Deal with it. So, yeah. Jungle Boy beats my boy Kenny Omega. I'll be upset, but I'll accept it. And I'll be singing to that song as well. Oh, 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 oh. size comparisons to wrap up this spotlight review so here you have all of series five except not including kenny omega here because he's just my favorite and kenny omega is my boy and kenny omega will remain the champion even though i want jungle boy to win kind of makes sense kind of not makes sense but i'd saying hit him over the head just in case he got an early advantage on the guy that's why jungle boy looks weird in this picture i don't, I don't know I don't know. Anyway, yeah, that's why we also have this conflict here where we've got two world titles in the picture here, which doesn't make any sense, but I digress. Anyway, we got our tag team title belts finally. Yay! We're one step closer to completing. Not really, because now there's word going around. There's another title coming soon. And then, of course, they changed the women's title to a bigger, upscaled, better-looking version of that belt, which looked like a tiny little egg and was kind of a disgrace to the women. But with that said, the bigger the better, in my opinion. And then, of course, we need a proper TNT championship, which may be turned into the TBS championship in time, if you know what I mean. You'll find out next year. Anyway, yeah, I mean... 
they didn't fix the skill on John Moxley. That's one thing that people are complaining about. But you know what? I've let it slide. It's fine. It's fine. They'll work on it when they decide to do a non-repaint figure because that's what it is basically. New head sculpt, but it's the same figure of John Moxley. Adam Page is completely a different buck. That yeah, buck, <laughs> buck. New sculpt, old sculpt. Just a repainted sculpt. And uh, everything else here is pretty good. I like Jungle Boy. I like Kazarian. I like Scorpio Sky a lot. It looks really good. And then, of course, my favorite out of this wave, got to be honest, Luchasaurus just looks mm, so fabulous. But in terms of stability and quality, I got to give it to Jungle Boy. It's a really good figure. For how slim this body buck is, it works good. Very good. It's so much leaps and bounds better than anything that's come before this figure. But I got to give the overall to Luchasaurus just because of the way this figure turned out. It's an exact copy and paste of what he looks like on the show with all the tattoos, the paint job. They didn't skip a beat on any of that. They fit it into the budget and they went all out. Ah! Having said that, though, one little nitpick that I do have against one certain figure, which I may mention in this video, is, of course, Frankie Kazarian's jacket. This is unacceptable. This will not go back on the figure. There's no way. And even if I'm capable of finding a way to do it, I'm sure it will never go back to the way it originally was, where it was straight down on the guy. There's going to be some, like, uh, creases and something over time maybe even some of the paint might chip off I don't know and this really will be the worst figure I've ever owned in this series I digress but anyway that's about it other than that besides a few accessories that some of these figures can and cannot hold like the picture for uh, you know hey man Adam page I gotta say that this line is quite the improvement overall in comparison to the last four that we've got. They are really trying here, and it really does show. And I do recommend that you pick these figures up if you can find them in stores, which again, right now at the time of this recording, is physically impossible. But let me know if I'm wrong about that. Feel free to leave it down below in the comment section of this video if you've actually spotted these in stores right now, whether that's Target, Walmart, or if you have Toys R Us up there in Canada. I don't know. All I can say is buy them if you see them, if they come back in stock, if they're not in stock right now at Ringside Collectibles, if they come back in stock, get them while the iron's hot. This line is very hot. So, questions or comments? Why did I skip the articulation? <laughs> Nice looking old zombie like Give me back my belt. I am gonna go ahead and end this one now. It's been way too long, but hey, what'd you expect? I reviewed six figures in one video. I went all out for you guys. What more do you want from me? I'm about to go take my stress pill. Until then, this is your unprofessional tour reviewer, Red is Power Sign Off by saying if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to sub up. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down. Don't forget to throw in the towel and I'll throw you out just like John Moxley. I'm signing off by saying fairly well, so long, goodbye, and get out. See ya, wrestling fans.